Yo guys, welcome back to my channel. So you would have seen in a bunch of videos of mine, me saying what it is that guys like, what turns them on, what makes them want to commit to said woman. But we're not gonna do that today. Today, I've got a handful of attractive photos for you so you can hear from the horse's mouth exactly what it is that they desire and what it looks like when they're showing their intention to a woman that they care about. And we are doing a would you rather. With each one, I'll give them a would you rather of girl A or girl B with pros and cons to both. And you can see for yourself exactly what it is that they would go for. So without further ado, let's get into it. So, would you rather? A, you're a virgin until you get married, but marry the woman of your dreams. Or B, you have as much sexual experience with as many different women as you want, but the woman you marry is just good enough. A. A. Yeah. Yeah, you sacrifice all the experiences that you've had. Yeah, and I think you get, it's a, it's a, it's a double-edged sword, isn't it? Because you, you get to that point, say for example, you get married to the woman of your dreams. Mm. You're always gonna be thinking, oh, I should have just had some fun, you know? True. But um, if you, if I were to choose between the two, I'd do forever happiness with the woman that you love. I hear that. I feel like both of those are a win, a win situation. Okay, so which would you rather? Because I'd say, I mean, just good enough for me is just the best, as, as that, is, that would be the girl of my dreams, if you know what I mean. But. No, nah, what I mean is, like, if I say good enough, as in, like, girl of your dreams is A star star. Yeah. Just good enough is C plus. Okay. I'd, I'd be a virgin for, for my whole life and then the girl of my dreams. Because if she's the girl of my dreams, it means that when it comes to it, we're, yeah. we're, we're enjoying ourselves. I hear that. Yeah, I'd say girl of my dreams. That yeah. way I can focus on other things. Yeah, you sacrifice day. the sexual experiences that you've had. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Cool. I hear that. All right. I think A. A? Yeah. You sacrifice your sexual experiences yeah. for the woman of your I think it's, it, it's... I've seen a lot of, of instances where you know, there's people in that situation and then that like, the love that they've got to give from in that, when they're like, they've not had sex before marriage and then they're waiting for that one. Mm. I think that like, the loyalty towards that is humbling. Mm. And I think that, um, yeah, I definitely give up all the sexual experiences. Yeah. Yeah. Cool, I hear that. Next one. Probably A. Be a virgin. Probably, yeah. Because okay. I think as a guy, especially as a young guy, this kind of allure of losing your virginity, I think, matters so much more to us than it does the girl. Mm. I think it can be quite stressful as a guy kind of gets older and older without having lost his virginity. But then as soon as you've lost it and you've had sex with multiple women, I feel like, well, this, in my personal experience, sex is just sex at the end of the day. Sex with someone that you actually genuinely get along with is so much more meaningful than just casual sex with girls that you're maybe not that interested in. So, although I guess you could say in the first scenario, that guy might look back and think, oh, what if I'd had sex with more girls, blah, 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 blah. I think the, that having found that one where it's kind of all you know, yeah. uh, more enjoyable. In the same sense that if you've, the, the more good meals you have, the, the, it kind of dilutes the intensity and the romance with, with each one. Does that make sense? 100%. Yeah. I get that. Next one. That is such a hard question. Mm. I'm gonna go with A. Yeah. So you'd sacrifice all um, your experiences you've had. But it's it's a hard one because if you're a virgin, you don't know about that as experience. It's hard to say that now, having had other experiences. True. Um, I know people who have been with their first girlfriend ever since. And not that I think they're not meant to be together. Maybe they are. But how do you know what you like? if you've only experienced it with one person who has also probably only experienced it with you and you, how do you know? It's very true. So which one do you choose? There's pros and cons to both. We stick with A. Gotta go with A, because if you're if it's just good enough, you'll cheat or you'll resent them. Fair enough, I hear that. Next one, next one. You'd rather girl A, in looks she's an eight out of 10, but in character she's a six out of 10, or girl B, in character, she's an eight out of ten, but in looks, she's a six out of ten. This is to date, right? Yep. Uh, character higher than the looks. Character higher, yeah. Mm -hmm. So go B. Go B, yeah. Go B, yeah. Um, yeah, you need to you need to have some 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 form of chat. Yeah. Otherwise, it's gonna be boring. So, yeah. Very true. I think I'd have to go for so eight out of ten in looks and six out of ten in character. Yeah. I feel like girl A would be 
good if I was just like dating casually. Nah, we're talking serious relationship. Serious relationship, I'd have to go for girl B. Because I feel like character character is such a massive part. Mm. If she's got a terrible like character, after a while I'm just gonna stop. I don't wanna be around I won't wanna be around her. Yeah. No matter how attractive she is. Yeah, I mean like that that phase after a while. Like mm. like eventually like you're gonna get like, you're gonna get yeah, cool, you're just gonna get to a situation where it's like we can't we can't match like this. Yeah. I hear that man, I hear that. Next one. B. 100%. B? Yeah. Why? It's not all about looks. I think for me getting like, when I hit 30, I kind of like hit a, hit a mark where I was like, well, first off the bat, the girls that I'm attracted to in my type mm. are like not, I never date anyone that's like that kind of echelon. Like they're just far too. So it's like, I. I've kind of done that in my own life anyway. I've been like, I need to bring my own expectations and like down mm. of what I want from someone. And then that opens the pool to people who've got better character and, and like get along with better. And mm. sometimes like your mates are like, or some, it's like you've been friends with for so long because you get on so well because they've got a better character and then you, you know, develop a relationship through that. Yep. That's always better than just going straight off of looks, especially with like dating apps and stuff like that. It's always like physical attraction. Yeah. And it's like, it's, it's not, Naive's not the word I'm looking for, but it's, it's so like superficial. Mm. It's just like, you know, you've got all these like profile pictures that paint a picture of something like filters and all that kind of like, you know, just like masking someone's true identity. And then when you meet them, they're completely different. Yeah. But then you're just going off physical like swipes and like, you know, am I physically attracted to them? Yes or no. And that can ca become kind of like a shit part, like place to be in. Just yeah. being like judging someone off the way they, they look rather than actually getting to know them. Yeah. Obviously, you know, you've got types and not types, and there's a big, obviously, there's a big subject area about this, like, when you divulge into it, but yeah. I think, yeah, characters got to be, like, it, it, for me, it's, like, shifted. I yeah. used to go for looks, but now I'll go for character. Yeah, I hear that, man, for sure. Next one. For what scenario is this? You tell me. So I guess if it's just purely dating, one night stand, then the girl who's high on the looks, low on the on the personality, character. But relationship. But then, yeah, then the relationship would be the other way. So you take personality, higher personality over like more of an average looks. Yeah, I'd say so, for long term. I hear that. Because I think, especially when it comes down to values, mm. this is something that I was actually chatting with um, someone the other night. Too many guys, I think, get focused, like hyper-focused on interests. It's like, oh my God, I met this girl, she's into calisthenics, she's into skateboarding, she's the girl of my dreams. Mm. I think what's more important is that your values align. So kind of separating your interests, because for your interests, you've got your boys for that. Yeah. I've got my boys for Cali, I've got my boys for skateboarding, whatever. Whereas values, if two people, especially like man and woman, man and man, woman, woman, whatever, if both of your values align, I think that's the, the number one kind of recipe for success. And if those values don't align down the line, mm. something's gonna go wrong. I hear that. No, I agree. Next one. B. Yeah. Yeah. By far. By far. Yeah. Going back to what I said earlier, uh, the way you engage with people is more important. Mm. And a six, I don't, I don't really understand the scaling pieces. Six to you could be a completely different six to me. Well, whatever your six is. Um, That's what I mean. Yeah, because I think people's personality, I've, I have been with people who I didn't see as anything in terms of attractiveness before. Mm. And then I got to know them and I ended up actually being with them for that reason. And they became more attractive. Oh, nice. Fair play. Okay, next one. Next one. Would you rather girl A, she's the best sex you've ever had, but she's very low in intelligence? Or girl B, intelligence is very high, but the sex is mediocre. Again, these aren't one that stands. These are purely these are actual dating, actual marriage, actual kids, grandkids, the whole, the whole everything. Thing. Uh, again, I'd say intelligence over. Yeah. Yeah, and I need my mind stimulated, as, as like corny as that sounds. So you sacrifice looks for intelligence for long term. If it's between the two, strictly between the two. Yep. Yes. Yeah. All right, I hear that. Are we talking about like what, on a date or long just like term. long term? Yeah. Take I'll take Girl B. Girl B can Girl get, B. can be taught like she can be taught. How okay. to get better because I feel like intelligence is something that you can't teach. <laughs> <laughs> I hear that man. I'm I speaking from experience. <laughs> fair point, fair point. Next one. It's a good question. Um I go for A because I think a good sex life is not a good foundation of a relationship, but it's like a, it's a, it's not, not even a big aspect, but it's an aspect that's very important. Mm -hmm. If you've got a shit sex life with someone, 
it's it's very evident like within that because you could like you know other aspects of your life you could really really get on and then it gets to that point and you're like that is just always shit yeah it's like point. you you know it's, it swings around about it's in different sort of, like situations but yeah i definitely sacrifice intelligence for sex yeah first play that next one to not keep going through the same different scenario every like, time i ask you it's for a relationship yeah that's yeah exactly yeah. You know, I don't think intelligence is that important for me. Okay. Yeah, because again, if I need an intellectual conversation, I can just go with some of my mates, or I can watch a podcast, or I can read a book. Um, so go there. Yeah, no I'd probably. Just, but very attractive. Oh, yeah. Best sex you've ever had, rather. Yeah, I'd probably say so. Go there. Yeah. Right. I hear that. Next one. <laughs> Neither. <laughs> um. <laughs> <laughs> it would have to be someone high of intelligence. Yeah, so girl B. Yeah, it has to be. Because you're just treating like an idiot and then it will wind you up. I hear that. No, you'll treat the other one like an idiot, obviously. Yeah. All right, next one. Next one. Would you rather girl A, she's the woman of your dreams, but you have to share her with another man, or girl B, she's just good enough for what you look for, but she only has eyes for you? Just good as well. Yeah, I'd probably go for just good. I can't. Yeah. No, 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 no. Uh, girl A. Can't do it. Satisfactory standard. You don't, she, she doesn't need to be a, a star star. We're talking what, like a B? Or are we talking like a C? A C plus is a pass. A C plus? Yeah. Yeah, I'll go for the C plus, C I think. Plus. Yeah, no. C plus, you can still get into university, so I'll go I for the C that. plus. I hear that. Yeah, I'm taking go B. Any, any day of the week. I'd, I'd like, maybe some no people in a... Yeah, it's maybe some people in a situation where they can deal with that. I can't deal with that. <laughs> what? The next man in my bedroom and like i don't care if like like nah i can't run you can't run not for, not for the gun in your dreams nah man you see too many of them situations in celebrity and hollywood and all sorts what you have what will smith and that yeah no i can't be that no no that jayden that will love can stay to the side i'll, I'll keep my mediocre one when i have an oscar repeat <laughs> yeah no i can't do that <laughs> next one again it's a it's a good question um i don't think like when you get into a relationship it obviously it depends what kind of stuff like some people are fetishes about that kind of thing like not i'm not saying that i do um i've been with other guys and that but for me like i wouldn't want another guy around or like knowing that you know she's she's like the girl's coming to me and then going off to him and then you'd be like your mind would be like for me my mind would be racing yeah being yeah, like yeah. what's have they got a better relationship than mine blah blah blah. it's a girl b it's a girl b yeah it's a girl b. yeah no, absolutely all right next one Second one for sure. I, I can't share, man. I know sharing is caring, but not in this instance. Fuck that. No way, bro. I couldn't do it. You can call me like insecure, jealous, but I'm not sharing that. No way. Nah, yeah, yeah. I feel you, man. I feel yeah. you. What was, the, what was the first? She's she's perfect. She's perfect in every, everything you would ever want in a woman. You have to share she's her. That, but she has you and another fella, so you have to share her. Or girl B. She's just satisfactory for what you look for. B. But she has eyes for you. B, B, yeah. Yeah, why B? You don't really want to be like... The first thing is kind of like, you don't know what they've been up to in the last 24 hours with someone else. It's true. You don't know. You wouldn't know. Yeah, it's yeah. a trust thing, I think. Yeah. Yes. Next one. Next one. Would you rather girl A, she requires you to be in amazing shape, or girl B, she requires you to make a lot of money? When you say required, she's not ticking any of those boxes. Doesn't matter, that's just, if she's gonna choose you, like, it's one of those two requirements. Girl A or girl B. That's a strange requirement to have. Um, I love them, have it. Yeah, I mean, uh, my, my, I wouldn't say my passion, but I'm very fit in general, so I'd probably go on. Or probably the option, though, because it's, um, right, yeah. it aligns to my, my interest anyway. I hear that. Yeah. Makes sense. I'll take it. Go away. Go away. Easy. I, I, I mean, for, for American football, I have to stay in amazing shape. Exactly. And fingers crossed, it should be making me a lot of money, but go away much more. I feel like someone that's asking you to do something for like your own self-development mm. is a lot more than money, because money will come and go. I mean, I could be top of a company, and then the company goes under. Then what? She's, she's gone. Where's that? I mean, two, what, twenty-five pound a month for a gym membership? That's easy. That's easy. Ah, I hear that. I hear that. Next one. I say amazing shape. Yeah. I why? think because obviously, one, you're fulfilling her needs. 
and like I said before in the other in the other the questions, it's not all about money, it's not all about income, it's not all, that's not the be all end of a, of a relationship. But mm. I think for it, it, it tick up many more boxes being in good shape for me personally mm. and for her yeah. in that kind of like situation rather than you know me just making a lot of money to you know maybe fund her lifestyle. Like if she's wanting that, mm. if she says she needs me to make money, yeah, then she's obviously like. You know that's what one area that it's that's very prominent that she that she wants from a relationship and it shouldn't be about that yeah. for me yeah so girl a yeah amazing shape yeah hey, look. next one girl a because although she requires me to be in amazing shape i require myself to be in amazing shape so whether she requires it or not i'm gonna be in amazing shape so amazing yeah shape. it's her win if i am but if not then effort <laughs> i hear that yeah i hear that next one a be amazing shape yeah why that one because, because requiring you to be in amazing shape is not a shallow request. Mm -hmm. It's not about them. Mm. It can potentially be about your long-term health. Uh, the amount of money you make, if it's dependent on that, uh, it would be a very materialistic relationship that mm -hmm. would then not be... I, wouldn't, I don't think it would be fulfilling. You'd essentially be sort of running around after them, yeah. um, just paying for things. Yeah, so A. True, I hear that. Next one. Next one. Would you rather girl A, she's one inch taller than you, or girl B, she's literally half your size? See, this question, I don't. it doesn't matter to me that much. Okay. So I'm 5'11", yep. probably pushing it, I'm 5'10 and a half. Yeah. Um, 5'11 with shoes. Just, just shy of six, let's put the six <laughs> number in there. Just shy of six. Um, but, yeah, like, I mean, the, the, the height thing doesn't... Unless, unless they're, like, six foot eight. Um, nah, this one, she's just one inch taller than you. Yeah, you no, know, no, half your size. perfectly fine. I have I've no issues with that at all. So either one, or what would you choose? Out of the two, I'd choose one inch taller. Then. One inch taller. Was it half your height? Half your size. Yeah, that's, that's quite... That's, that's quite... Short. I think you need to change the question, because that's too much of an exaggeration. Well... I'd, I'd say, yeah, for me, um, I don't mind a, a, a one inch taller lady. Okay, cool. Half of my size. Yeah. So how tall are you? I'm six three. So, okay, that's like... so we'll say let's say she's <laughs> let's say she's four four foot five. That's important. I, I, I don't think that's that's acceptable. So I'd have to say, go away. I mean, like, listen. I've I've dated short people in my life, and the an ex of mine was was five foot. Yeah. And that was fine. But any like any shorter than that, that's 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 not a problem. <laughs> like. She like hip, like hip height is is serious, you know. It's serious. <laughs> so but you're yeah. taking a girl who's one inch taller than you? Yeah, I'll take the girl that's one inch taller than me. Right. I hear that. I hear that. Next one. One inch taller. One inch taller. Yeah. Yeah. They're gonna take a small, small girl. You can get them shoes where you can get like little heels in it for guys <laughs> now, can't you? Where you like you, you can't even see them inside the shoes. So I'd be like, you're wearing the flats, I'll wear these, and we can be the same height. <laughs> okay. Okay. Sense. Yeah. Alright. <laughs> next one. Half my size is what, like, like I'm six foot, so it's three foot. You're saying, let's go four foot, she's four foot. Damn, that, that's short. That's I like small. petite girls, but I think that's too short. You know, I've never been with a girl that's taller than me, but I don't think it would emasculate me too much. Like, I don't think I'd really care that much. Even if it was a girl, was, I'd do six foot rather than four foot or okay. three foot. I think for me, that that's way too short. Especially as you're walking around and people be like, what's that guy doing with a ute over there? <laughs> you'd, you'd get all sort of looks. Well, at least if your other girl is like a one inch tall, even six foot four, like six foot four, they'd be like, what a baller, well done. Okay, it's a girl, eh? Yeah. Okay. I'd be repping out all the short kings in quotes. <laughs> yes. All right, next one. <laughs> I'm dating a girl who's five foot three at the moment, so <laughs> yeah. Uh, I, don't, I, don't, I don't have a preference normally, um, whether you're tall or small, but I have recently and also throughout my lifetime just. Yeah, gone for shorter girls, but for no preference reason, just those who have gone. So you take a girl who's half your size? Yeah. All right, I hear that. Next one. Next one. Would you rather girl A, she's passionate about her career, or girl B, she's passionate about her family? Ooh, that's a good question. I re so, uh, passionate about your family is very important. I, I really like a, a family girl. Um, I'd probably say family, actually. Family? Yeah, I think that's massively important. And I'd say that, in my view, I'd, I'd rank it higher than um, 
having massive career aspirations. Um, yeah. That's not to say that they can have none. There's got to be something there. Of but between the two, uh, probably family. Family. Alright. Oh, that's a hard one. I feel like Gobi takes it just just by an inch. Like I I, I love ambition, mm. but I feel like family that family orientation i come from a very big family myself and mm. like we're very close so if you're of the same mind i feel like we'd get on that a little bit more yeah whereas if someone's really passionate about their um, their career like that works mm. but i feel like that's more of like a, just between me and her situation it doesn't really spread out further yeah because if she was terrible with with, with with her family then that might influence on mine because i mean or influence on my relationships and i, I wouldn't want that very true i hear that oh wow it's a good question again. I think, I think, I think A, personally. Passionate about her career? Yeah, yeah. I think, although I'm, I'm, I'm passionate about my family, my family's a big thing for me, like, it, it's, I have my immediate family, and that's mm. that. I think somebody who's driven, like I mentioned earlier, is, is a trait that I, I kind of not look for, but like, it's, it's always positive when someone else is driven in the, like it, like to, for them to succeed because if you're driven in yours you're driven in she's driven in theirs mm -hmm. you kind of like that's obviously a common trait you both want to succeed you both want to do well other things are going to come from that sure i don't think it's 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 swing it, again it's 50 50 for me in that one but if i had to choose it'd be um driven in a career driven in a career hey there Ooh. Both are extremely attractive qualities, mm -hmm. very attractive qualities. Which I've kind of had both. I remember once when I first went on a date with a girl that had like a real passion for something, it was the hottest thing ever. And the passion of what she was into, I, I couldn't give a shit about what it was, mm. but just the fact she was passionate about it was hot. The yeah. old me would have said the first girl. Passionate about career. Yeah, but nowadays I think family, especially like if you're, if you're looking to establish something long term, I think a girl that has a family as her priority, I think that's, that's gonna lead to a much more healthy relationship in my eyes, like for the kind of values that I'm looking for. I hear that. Nice one. Uh, it's a hard one. Probably A. You got A? No. Sorry. A was A was career, right? Yeah, passionate about uh, career, passionate about family. Pro probably probably B. Yeah. Um Yeah, probably be. I don't really have a reason for it. Um, if you're not passionate, yeah. Yeah, uh, there's no reason for it. I just think B. I cool. think you, you would like both, really. But Yeah, B yeah. if you had to choose. Yeah. All right. Next one. Would you rather girl A, she wants more attention than you're able to give, or girl B, she asks for less attention than what you want to give her? Hmm. So it's almost like the less attention, like where else, she, where else is she getting that attention from? No, she just wants um, less. Like you want to give, you want to, if you wanted to see her four times a week, she's like, oh, I only want to see you like once or twice a week. That one. That one? Yeah, no, for sure. She requires but, less of you. But yeah, and I say that because I, I have, I've got my own life, I'm quite busy. Mm -hmm. So if I'm then having to, to find the time to squeeze more time for you, then I, it's, we're going to come to a pass and I need to, I need to make a decision. Whereas if it's less time that I need to spend, um, I can continue with my routine. Don't need to break it. Yeah. 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 I'll go, go for, I'll go for that. Yeah. No. Thank you, sir. Lovely. Uh, I'd say a, I feel like always someone who wants more from you. I, of course that can be taxing and stressful, but that shows that the, the care is there. Whereas if I'm, I'm, I'm quite a given person. So if she's like, nah, like, I'm not really interested in that. I was like, after a while, it's like it's just we're, we're not comparable. Mm. I guess both are not comparable, but at least one gives me a chance to actually do more for them. Very true. Very true. Mm. I'd say I'd say B. Yeah. Yeah. I like, think I've always. So for you me, want to see her like three times a week? She's like, nah. I just want to see you one. Yeah, I think that's that's. Yeah. I mean, it depends. Again, like what the relation, like what the dynamics like. Mm -hmm. Um, but for me, I've always been like, when I like someone, I like someone and I like, I give them a lot of energy and a lot of time and a lot of like love. Yeah. And then, so sometimes it might be quite humbling to actually be like, yo, like I need to chill out. 
less. Mm, I hear that. See see each other a little bit less, but then the, the you know the time that you spend together is good time together, yeah. and then you can concentrate on other aspects of you know careers, lives, all that kind of stuff, friends. Yeah. I think it, you know getting a good balance like that is, is good. I hear that. I hear that. Grass is always greener, isn't it? That's tough. I'm gonna go with goal number A. Why not? Yeah. That yeah. She, like she wants more attention than what you're giving her. Yeah, assuming that that's maybe not down the line going to necessarily result in the relationship ending. Mm. I'd say, yeah, probably probably A, because I guess it's just something that I would accept and just say, look, it's just part of this dynamic is I've got to put more effort in. Whereas the, the other one, I know what I'm like. I'm a massive overthinker, so I know I'd always be thinking like, mm, this is a bit weird that she's not necessarily enjoying the, the, the affection or the emotional time that I'm giving her. Yeah. I'd start to kind of question things, but like, mm, maybe this girl isn't into me. At least the first girl, I know that she is into me because she requires more attention. Hear that? B. B? Charles for less. Yeah. B. Why? The Y. Um... Because for A, you're always going to be on the back foot. If you're not giving her as much, if you are unable physically to give her what she's asking for, she will never be happy in your relationship. And you will always be unhappy if she is unhappy within your relationship. So it would have to be B. I hear that. That makes sense. Pow.